welcome to gem chem now today's video is on chemical thermodynamics part 7 video and as we have done in the previous video calculations of q w u and h for reversible irreversible and free expansion of gases for ideal gas now in this video we are going to deal with van der waals gas now before starting if you are new to gem chem do not forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates now let us start Now, for reversible isothermal change, we have dW equals to minus P exterior dV and for the reversible change in volume, we have P external is equals to P internal plus minus dP, which is near about P internal. Now, we know for the van der Waals gas, P internal is the pressure of the gas and is given by nRT by V minus nB minus n square A by V square. Now, we will substitute this value in this formula. Now, see, substituting this in 1, we get this kind of expression. Now, on integrating both sides over V1 and V2, for this side, we get the ultimate expression of volume, which is minus nRT ln V2 minus nB divided by V1 minus nV minus n square a multiplied by 1 by v2 minus 1 by v1. Here we can see the expression of delta u can be derived by using thermodynamic equations and we have already done it how to derive it. Now for van der Waals gas this delta p by delta t at constant v is given by nr by v minus nb. So we just substitute this value here and we get this expression. So from here if we take delta V in this side then du equals to delta U delta T at constant V dt plus delta U by delta V at constant T dV and we know for an isothermal process dt equals to 0 so this term gets 0 and the other term remains and ultimately delta U by delta V is given by n square A by V square. And for a finite process, if we integrate it and in the right hand side, if we integrate over V2 to V1, then we can get delta U equals to minus N square A, 1 by V2 minus 1 by V1. Now, let us go to the next part. Now, for the first law of thermodynamics, we have known that Q equals to delta U minus W. So, if we substitute the expression of delta and w, we have the following expression for q. Just mere substitution is being done. So, q comes to be as nRT ln v2 minus nb divided by v1 minus nb. Now, delta h has an expression of equals to delta u plus delta pv. And we have already known the value of delta u. And delta PV, here we have substituted the value of P and we have obtained this expression. Now, this on being solved, we ultimately get the expression for delta H, which is equals to minus 2n square A multiplied by 1 by V2 minus 1 by V1 plus n square RTB multiplied by 1 by V2 minus NB minus 1 by V1 minus NB. So, this is how it is derived for van der Waals gas. Now let us go to the next part. Slide we are going to deal with irreversible isothermal change. Now if you observe here expression of W and delta U remains the same and whereas the Q is equal to delta U minus W. So here it becomes same as the previous only W is given by P exterior V2 minus V1. Now see. Here we are going to deal with reversible adiabatic transformation. We know for adiabatic transformation Q equals to 0 and delta U is equals to W. So we know the change in energy can be calculated by taking differential of U. So we get this expression and from here we know that this is NCVM and this part is N square A by V square which we have seen previously, right? So ultimately for finite process, we have such kind of integration. 
that is here T1 to T2 is the range and here V1 to V2 is the range. Assuming that CVM is independent of temperature, we ultimately get the expression of delta U, right? So now we will see the expression for delta H. Just we substitute the value of delta U and delta PV. That is P value is kept here and delta U value is being given here from the previous expression and ultimately delta H value is being obtained. So this were the important derivations for the van der Waals gases. Now we are going at the end point of the first law of thermodynamics. The first seven videos of chemical thermodynamics dealt with all aspects of first law of thermodynamics. Now from the next video we are going to deal with thermochemistry. But before ending this video, we have to understand that practice of numerical is important. So this is the checkpoint. Take screenshot and try to solve it on your own self. So this is the first page of the checkpoint. Next page is this one. And the last page contains two more sums. So there are total 10 sums in the checkpoint. So try to solve it and if you want to practice more sums, you can refer to KL Kapoor part 2b. Right. Now, so this much for today. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment.